There we go, we're getting somewhere. Let's see, what do I want to change about this before I take it all the way to fully in between? Because there's something about how this foot hits right here that I still don't really quite like. There's just something about it that it doesn't really quite feel like it's taking the weight. And I'm wondering if what I want to do is actually to have it come out just slightly earlier. Because it just doesn't feel like it's enough to stop his momentum right now, you know? It's like a little soft. So I'm going to try that. We'll see, we'll, see how that, we'll see if that ends up being the way to solve that issue. So in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to store this pose. And it doesn't matter what you have selected when you store a pose, by the way. It's just, you know, uh, it's going to apply to whatever you have selected or to the whole character, depending on your options. But I'm going to take this and I'm going to already put it in the place where it's going to be. So I'm going to, uh, just affecting the, the foot, and I'm going to put that there. I'm going to go back to the previous pose. And I'm going to push it way up to where it's going to be. Maybe have that be a little bit less bent. I think there's still a little bit of sliding going on there. Yeah, there is. That's what I'm gonna what I'm gonna fix. Cause I kind of had this idea when I started the shot that the feet were gonna slide, and then I decided it didn't really work. So now I need to get rid of some of the vestiges of that. And there's like a little there's a little bobble in the foot there too. So now we are actually getting into polish. So anyway, the problem here is note that now the foot pushes like first it stops in place. So actually, I just created this because I probably didn't get that pose from the right frame. I created this scenario myself, but like it should it then slips into place, which there's no reason for it to at this point in the motion. Like nothing's motivating that. That makes it feel weird. So I'm gonna grab this pose where it's already gone. I think exactly into the the full position that it's going to be in. I'm going to store that, and then I'm actually going to do something that hopefully won't have any issues because I haven't used this in a bit and I don't remember there was some version where this had some issue and I'm like mm, hope it wasn't this well, it wasn't this build um so I'm going to save just in case something terrible happens because we are using like pre-alpha software here and I'm going to apply stored pose over time which is just going to apply it to all of these keys at once yeah it worked so now it's rooted in place over those and I'm gonna probably adjust this a little bit more, maybe. You know, we'll see. There we go. I think that works better. Yeah, much nicer. Now let's take a look at that other foot, which has a little bobble in it too. But like, see how, how easy that was, right? You get little issues in your motion and the ephemeral system just gives you the tools to just correct the issues directly. You don't need to be like, which control is actually making that happen? Which control is like, like, oh, is there like something the splines are doing that's weird, but which spline? You don't have to do any of that stuff. You just say, oh, this isn't really what I want. I'll wipe away this little bit of it, or I'll smooth away this little bit of it or something. Maybe I'll try using smooth now to actually, to actually do this bit right here. Because the issue here is, what I did was, I had his foot like fully down, well, it wasn't really quite fully down. Yeah, I kind of did something a little strange there, but I see what I was doing. I was rolling the foot. It's actually a little, let me just fix that before I do anything else. It's actually a little in there because it's because that's where it was supposed to be coming to rest, but this doesn't really work actually because what I had was I had the foot rolling forward like way out of that of that pose. And then that, and then that's a being really weird. And then it comes back and that's and and that was supposed to be like oh it, you know it rolls forward and then and then gets back oh i see what was going on here it actually wasn't supposed to come all the way down at that point so actually this this is the pose at which i should actually have it be fully on the ground i think and i'm going to store that or actually i don't even need to store it because it's right next to it i'm going to take this and bias it oops i did it in backward mode there we go So good, good, but not good, right? Pops right back in a, in a bad way. So here's what I'm going to do to do that. Let's see what happens. I am going to take these three controls and I'm just going to smooth their motion over time, which is going to basically just like average all of their motion together in a nice way. I'm going to do two iterations of 0.5 uh, amount of smooth 
I'm going to smooth it over time. And now he lifts his foot a little bit, but it no longer pops. Again, when you see issues with your motion, you have tools to just go in and make these little spot corrections. And just like see this little thing that like looks weird or like jiggles around in a weird way, which you know happens all the time in all in animation, and you just go like, oh, I'm just gonna fix that thing. And and you don't need to worry about the consequences of fixing that thing. You don't need to go through this whole complicated you know, polish process. All right, so there's a little bit of a bobble right at the end there. So here's what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna extend this out a little bit more. I'm gonna do another breakdown. And I'm gonna just sort of smooth over this motion a little bit right in here. Cause like you can see how that hand's bobbling a little bit. Like it's just like there's a little bit of a something not quite right. I'm doing it to everything. I'm gonna smooth over time. I'm smoothing this in default, which means that the hands, for instance, will be smoothing in world space, whereas the elbows will be smoothing relative to the hand and the shoulder cause that's what move, motion happens in default. And what do we get with that? Well, it kind of solved the issue. You still get a little bit of that curve, but it's not bobbling around anymore. Okay, what's the next thing? Yep, that works much nicer. The next thing is gonna be a blink, because it looks super weird to me now that he's not blinking. 